Hi everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor. Today I'm going to walk through the wet work specialization for you. If you missed my general video that gave you an overview of all the specializations, go back and check that one out. There's a link right here in the description that's a very important video. Uh, this one is going to focus specifically on wet work and give you some very specific information because keep in mind that anytime you choose a specialization, you're locked into that specialization for the next 10 ranks. You can't go back and change your mind. There's nothing worse than working towards a specialization for several weeks or months only to discover it didn't unlock anything that was uh, valuable to you. So you want to make sure that you know what you're getting into and you make the right decision. So let's jump right in here. Uh, first of all, you can see the armor right here. This is the wet work armor. You'll unlock a new chest piece, shoulder piece, and helmet piece. You'll also unlock a new visor. Additionally, you'll unlock skins for your chest, shoulders, and helmet as well. So some nice new appearance features. You'll unlock the doused background em emblem. And uh, you'll also unlock a DMR skin. And for me, that's actually a pretty cool feature because I use the DMR in just about every loadout. And that won't change the gameplay, of course, to put a skin on your DMR. But it's kind of fun to have those DMR skins because you actually get to see your weapon while you're playing. You know, when you put a skin or a feature onto your armor, most of the time you never actually really even see it. But you do see the DMR, the, the weapon skins, because you're carrying your weapons on the screen there. And I'm, I'm usually carrying a DMR like 80% of the time. So, you know, that's a pretty cool feature, actually. I do like that a lot. But the most important feature of any specialization is that once you complete a specialization, you will unlock a new uh, support upgrade or tactical package, okay? And in this case, with wet work, you will unlock the stealth support upgrade. Let me tell you what that... Uh, what that entails because it's not very obvious just by reading the description here on the menu. Uh, the uh, stealth upgrade enhances you in three ways. It dampens your footsteps. It makes it a lot harder for your enemies to see you when they're scanning with Promethean Vision. And it increases your assassination speed. Okay, so those are some interesting points, but I'm going to give uh, stealth a D in terms of the letter grade so slightly better than a failure because this is nowhere near as effective as something like ammo or dexterity which are fantastic support upgrades which are both unlocked at just uh, the rank 12 uh, in the Spartan 4 specialization um, you know the problem with it, it it barely increases your assassination speed at all it doesn't make it that much faster honestly and uh, you know quieter footsteps and being more difficult to scan with Promethean Vision, those are very, very passive upgrades. They're not going to help you in very many circumstances, and, and the, the amount of, of support they do give you is really going to be very limited. So I'm going to give this a, a, a letter D in terms of the uh, support upgrade stealth. Now, I'm not going to give you a grade on the appearance items because that's up to you, but... Um, Anyway, wet work and operator is the only two, you know, it's the first two uh, specializations that you will have available when you first hit level 50. So you're really only going to have a couple choices, wet work or operator. So uh, this is what you're going to get with wet work. Um, if you want to know what to get with operator or any of the other specializations, make sure to continue to follow the video responses uh, or the specialization playlist that I have on my channel. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next video.